So with Panthers training camp being three days in, I think it's only right that we get some early training camp thoughts out of the way about how we feel about our team. You're listening to Money in the Bank. So let's not waste any time, man. The elephant in the room is Baker Mayfield versus Sam Darnold and how Matt Corral looks as well in this quarterback battle. And right now, look, there's no pads on. There's no pads on. There's going to be mistakes made by a lot of guys. One thing I will say is that the, the highlight pack of Baker Mayfield and, and DJ Moore definitely has me excited. You know, we, we've talked about it on the podcast about is Baker going to be the quarterback that helps DJ Moore move into that top 10 status? I believe he can be, and I'm very hopeful that'll make the Baker trade worth everything. I mean, it's worth it for the simple fact of we didn't, we're not paying him next to nothing. We're paying him next to nothing to play for us, and, you know, Cleveland's taking on the bulk of the contract. Um, also, an opportunity to find a franchise guy for at such a cheap price. You gotta, you gotta take advantage of that and, and marvel in the fact that you're able to have this opportunity to do something right now where you still have some financial flexibility. But um, DJ Moore being a guy that's been as consistent as he's been over the last four years needs that guy that can feed him the ball and take his game to the next level. He, I think he's still stuck at a point right now that there's, like, there's seems to be a glass thing on what he can do uh, stat-wise. You know, 1,100 yards, about four to five touchdowns. And that's not enough to make you a top 10 receiver. As consistent as it is and how productive as it is, and that's hard, very hard to do in this league, that's not enough to make you a top 10 guy. The early connection from Baker and, and, and DJ Moore is something that I think we can be, we can get excited about, but we have to be fair here. Sam Donald's not going away, no matter how we feel about how he's played and how we think, you know, how bad of a quarterback we think he is. This is a guy that's still fighting for his football livelihood. I don't expect Sam Darnold to go anywhere. I don't expect Sam Darnold to lay down and just let this competition fall by the wayside and Baker and pretty much hand Baker the job. He's going to be a guy fighting for, honestly, the next roster spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, mind you, these, tra- these training camps, I mean, when you're practicing all these things, bro, understand, there's an audition, but it's not only an audition for that team, it's an audition for the other 31 franchises that are in this league that are going to be looking for quarterbacks. Look, man, we, you know, there's no telling what happens by midseason if quarterback injuries start to uh, start to accrue for a lot of teams. Are they looking for a guy that can come in and play right away? Are they looking for a guy that's ha- that's, that has NFL experience? Are they willing to make a move for a guy like Sam Donald that maybe show some improvement? Who knows? This is a very this this competition is very it's in its infant stages, and Matt Rule said it yesterday. Um, the they're not to the point of evaluating yet. And this early in camp, you're not. You're not. You guys, you guys are still transitioning. And and again, this is this isn't football yet. You know what I'm saying? There's no pads on. There's a, there's a bunch of drills, a bunch of teaching going on right now. A lot of these guys to to learn the playbook. A lot of these guys to fully get entrenched in, in the in the camp. And let's and let's allow the pads to be put on so we can watch how guys start to react when real football starts to play. And following up on that real football note, I mean, the other thing is, you know, uh, we won't know much about the guys on the, on the front lines until the pass come out, come out as well. Um, haven't heard anything. Haven't really heard much about Icky and, and all the other guys, but what's there to hear right now at this point in camp? I know we're excited. We're very excited, but I will say this, though. Um, I, it's something that's been kind of sticking in my craw here lately. It's like, I will say I'm not going to keep a whole lot of expectations on E.Q. Kwame and Kwame this early. Um, you know, the first round guys, they are, they are, um, it's hard, it's hard to read. It's hard to read. You, you, you never know who's going to pan out. You never know who's going to work. Um, I think if we see early struggles from Icky, I think y'all need to be aware that this guy's transitioning into this game as well. And so no matter how physically imposing we think a guy is or how talented we think he is, we do have to be aware that these guys are still learning the game very much so, and this is a part of the process. So if it doesn't look great, I don't think we should overreact. But with that being the case, I mean, we don't really know any, much of anything. And I, I think the other part to this is, you know, seeing how that linebacker group come together. That group is that group and the safety group are the two groups. God, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of question marks, but those two groups are, are, are the two that, you know, we're looking at. I mean, look, we, got, we have veteran, you know, veteran presence all across the all across the linebacking core now. 
um, guys that have played this game can play at a solid level. Can they come in and be solid for us is the next question. But, I mean, that's about it. That's about all I got. Not long. Uh, be sure to, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. And we're going to keep these things updated as they come along. I'll try to be more consistent with the money in the banks. Now that we're really getting back into football, you'll see my face a lot more. But I'm your host, Sean T. Stewart. This is Money in the Bank. And I'm out.